Hello and welcome to Core Yoga with me. My name is Allie Kamen and this is going to be a yoga practice focusing on our core. So we always use core in our yoga practice, but today we're going to do a little extra work to help strengthen the core. So what you're going to need today is either one or two of these blocks. If you don't own blocks, I thought of an awesome replacement. Very hot commodity right now, paper towels. So if you have paper towels, grab two paper towel rolls. These will work great for our core work as well as for having blocks. The other thing you're gonna need is a blanket, a towel, a beach towel, um, a shower towel, or a yoga blanket. Any of those will work. And you're gonna fold it in half like this. We're gonna be using this during our practice today as well. And I don't know if you'll need a strap, but if you have one, grab a yoga strap or a dish towel. I happen to have this cute yoga one. So if you have a dish towel of any size, um, that will work as well. So go ahead and grab that right now. And then we're going to get started on our backs. So you're gonna to wanna to have your blocks or dish towels handy at the front of your yoga mat. And you're gonna to wanna to have your blanket handy as well. And then go ahead and make your way onto your backs. And you can have your legs extended out in Shavasana or bottoms of the feet together, knees apart. Or if your low back bothers you, I like to have my feet wide, thighs together. And then take your right hand on your belly, your left hand on your heart, and just close your eyes. Take a big inhale through your nose and just fill up with breath. And as you exhale, sigh it out, let it go. We're gonna do that again. Big inhale through your nose, fill up. Exhale, sigh it out, let it go. So I want you to continue breathing just like that. I like to always start my practice with uh, some sort of inspiration. So here is my one I have for you today. So all you need to do is breathe deeply. Have you ever thought to yourself, I think I might be going a little crazy, but then you remember that you're really just an awakened, loving, kick-ass warrior, hell-bent on changing the world, and you refuse to accept the negative vibrations and the fear and the hate and the illusion of separation. And you remember that there are many others just like you that stand with you, the alchemists, the conscious warriors, the rule breakers, the lovers of life, the ones that are determined to lift each other up and to ensure that love wins, the ones that are just crazy enough to get the job done. And then you remember that you're not crazy at all and you're not alone, you're just awake. Yep, me too, you're good, keep going. I love that quote, that is by Craig Crippen. Anyways, take a moment and set an intention for your practice for the next hour. I'm shooting for an hour, hopefully that's what we shall do. And then take a long, slow, full inhale through your nose. Open your mouth and sigh it out, let it go. Do that again, big inhale through your nose. Exhale, let that go. And then go ahead and draw your knees into your chest. One hand on each knee, you're gonna give your knees a squeeze, let your hips lift, let your shoulders melt down your back. One more breath here. As you exhale, bring your thighs together, allow your hips to come down to the floor, and then just make some circles with your knees. Your thighs are gonna stay together. Big, slow circles, massaging your low back and your sacrum. And then take that circle the other way, a couple of times. Should feel good. And then let both of your knees fall over to the right. You're gonna extend your left arm look over your left arm. Maybe your right hand gently presses on your left knee for a little extra love on that low back. I think that feels good. And then switch everything up. Let your knees fall to the left. Look over your right extended arm. And maybe your left hand gently presses on your right knee as you look over your right shoulder. And then come on back to center. 
Allow your feet to come down to your mat. I want you to just walk your feet toward your body. We're going to set up for a dynamic bridge, flowing bridge here. So press down in your feet and your hips are going to rise up toward the sky and then reach your arms to the back of your yoga mat. Your arms are on the floor. You're pressing your feet, you're lifting your hips, your thighs are drawing toward each other. Take one more inhale. Then as you exhale, bring everything down. Your spine, your hips, your arms come down. You're fully exhaling. As you begin to inhale, lift your hips, reach your arms back up over your head. Full inhale, find the pause at the top. As you begin to exhale, everything comes back down. Good, do that a few more times on your own with your breath. Your exhales are when you lower, your inhales are when you lift your hips. One more round. Good, go ahead and draw your knees into your chest again, gently rock from side to side. And then we're going to rock forward and back a few times to get giving your spine a massage. And then we're going to come all the way up. And I'm going to have you grab either a block or I'm going to demonstrate with paper towels. I'm very excited I thought about paper towels. Yay! Okay, so you've got your block or your paper towels. We're going to come back down and we're going to place the paper towels between your feet. So your feet are hugging the paper towels like so, okay? You're going to reach your arms over your head to the back of your mat and you're going to reach your feet to the front of your mat and you're going to hover your feet. Take an inhale, you're squeezing the paper towels. As you exhale, lift the legs and now your arms are going to grab your paper towels or your block and then inhale, extend the limbs, you're hovering over the floor. As you exhale, bring it back, your feet are going to grab the block, I'm sorry, the block or your paper towels. Inhale, get long, exhale, grab the towels and continue that on your own. Your inhales, you lengthen the limbs. Your exhales, you're switching the block. A couple more rounds, just beginning to warm up the core. Probably never thought you could have so much fun with paper towels. I'm having fun. The next time your paper towels are in your feet, you're going to extend your legs and just let the paper towels fall. Draw your knees into your chest and you're going to rock up to seated and grab your paper towels again. So I'm going to face you guys. You can stay right where you are. You're going to have your paper towels between your hands again or if you've got a block, your block is like this. Okay? You're holding it here. We're going to come into bow pose. So from a side view, bow pose, your legs are extended. You can have them straight or you can have your knees bent. Now, if you're here right now and your low back hurts, please be nice to your low back and support yourself here, okay? And forget about the arms and just keep your hands here when we're doing our little core work right here. So, we've got our paper towels. We're extending our feet. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, just like we did before, extend your limbs, but reach to the front. And then come back up as you exhale. Inhale, extend. Exhale, come back. Couple more. Inhales, you lengthen. Exhales, you lift back up. Let's just do one more right here. And we're going to hold it. We're going to take the take paper towels over to the right. And you're going to inhale, extend, and back to center. Getting a little twist here, no leaks. Just one more. Come back to center, take it the other way. Extend on the exhale, inhale, lift back up. Just two more. Come back to center, inhale, extend, and let it go. I don't know about you guys, but I'm already a little warm. Sitting up nice and tall, inhale, reach your arms up. Bring your right palm down, left arm up and over your ear. Get a nice side body stretch. So this left shoulder, I want you to roll it open. As opposed to coming in front of your face, roll it open. One more inhale. And then come back up to center. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, take it the other way. A couple deep breaths. You should feel good. And then come on back to center. 
Go ahead and switch the cross of your legs, put the other one in front. We're going to take a little twist. Your right hand's going to come behind you, left hand to your knee. Inhale, get tall. Exhale, twist back over your right shoulder. So keep looking back. Inhale, just make your spine taller. Extend through the crown of your head, and as you exhale, twist a little bit more. On your next inhale, come back to center. Switch up your arms. Inhale, get tall. Exhale, look back over your left shoulder. Do that again. Exhale, twist a little bit more. And then bring your gaze center and just walk those arms out in front of you. So your hips are staying back on your mat as your arms are reaching forward. See if you can separate your shoulder blades a little bit more on your back. So imagine like your palms are on your shoulder blades and your palms just open up. So try to open those shoulder blades and then breathe into that extra space on your back. One more breath there. And then walk your hands back a little bit and come onto your hands and knees. Take a couple of cat cows here. So as you inhale, create a smile shape in your spine as you gaze up. And as you exhale, do the opposite. Round your spine like a rainbow, crown of the head down toward the floor. As you begin to inhale, find that smile shape. Should feel good. And as you exhale, press the floor away from you. Round the spine. Do that a couple more times. One more round. Find a neutral position in your spine. I'm going to show you just a modified um, Vashisthasana because we're going to be doing quite a few Vashisthasanas. If you're not sure what that is, it's a side plank. But we're going to start off with a modified one. So I'm going to have you keep your right shin down. You're going to send your left leg back and reach your left arm up to the sky. So this is a modified Vashisthasana. A full Vashisthasana, we're going to stack our legs or maybe lift a leg today. But I want you to just start off right here. So this is where you can come when you want to modify. Okay, one more inhale, and then go ahead and come back down to center. And then you're going to take your right leg back, spin that foot flat, and send your right arm up for a Vashisthasana on the other side. A couple more breaths. So I'm going to be turning myself around on the mat while I'm teaching so that you don't get my backside in your face, but you guys stay right where you are. One more breath here, and then come back to tabletop. So from here, I want you to tuck your toes under and hover your knees right over the mat and press into both palms a lot. So I want your fire, you to fire up your core a little bit right here. Really engage the belly button. One more breath. And then simply walk your legs back to plank position. Some people call this upper push-up. You're at the top of a push-up. Your heels are reaching to the back of your mat. The crown of your head is reaching forward and you're pressing the floor away from you with both hands. Take one more inhale here. As you exhale, slowly lower all the way down to your belly. When you come all the way down, I want you to untuck your toes. I want you to take your hands behind you and lace your fingers together. If you can't reach your fingers, this is when you want to grab that dish towel and hold the dish towel in each hand, and that's how you'll modify lacing your fingers. Otherwise, top of your feet are on the mat. You're looking forward directly in front of your yoga mat. Inhale, just lift the chest. Your feet are on the floor. Your gaze is neutral. Just look straight ahead, not up. And imagine I am holding on to your laced fingers and I'm lifting you up on your next inhale. Can you lift a little bit higher? Let your hip bones melt down. One more breath. As you exhale, release your hands, let your left ear come to the mat. Bend your knees and just windshield wiper from side to side. And then release your feet back down. Align your hands back with your chest. Inhale, lift your heart for cobra. So now your elbows hug in. Your chest lifts. The tops of your feet are on the floor. Exhale, lower. Do that again. Inhale, lift. Keep it low. Exhale, lower. This time I want you just to lift a little bit. And then I want you to float your hands off your mat. So I want you to notice right now how much your low back is involved in this position. So let your back fire up. Two more breaths right here. If you need support, release your hands down. Otherwise, stay one more breath. Lift your chest. Allow your hands to come down. Tuck your toes. From here, I want you to engage your quadriceps. Lift your knees off the mat. And then press firmly into both hands. Magically, you're back in plank position. 
Take an inhale here, and then as you exhale, send your hips up and back, downward facing dog. A couple of deep breaths here, in and out through your nose. First down dog of the day. So maybe your knees are bent a little bit here. I want you to firmly press into both hands, send your hip bones up to the sky, and then allow your legs to work towards straightening. But maybe you keep a bend in your knees. That's perfectly wonderful. Two more breaths right here. And then on your next inhale, look forward, come forward to plank pose. You might need to walk your feet back a little bit from your downward facing dog. As you exhale, slowly lower, slowly lower all the way down to the belly. Inhale, lift your heart for cobra. Tuck your toes, maybe you add in a chaturanga push-up, creating 290 degrees with your elbows, then straightening the arms to down dog. Or you skip that and say, no thanks. Or maybe you drop to your knees and then send your hips back to downward facing dog. You know what feels right for you today. So just do what feels good in your body at this moment. One more breath. This time look forward at your palms. Travel to the top of your mat. You can walk, you can hop, you can step. And then inhale, look forward. Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold over your thighs. You can bend your legs here. Inhale, look forward again. Exhale, fold, allow the crown of your head to drop down, send your sitting bones up to the sky. On your next inhale, reach your arms up overhead, gaze up between your palms, and as you exhale, bring your hands together at your heart. And just take a moment here, check in, see how you feel. You know, the temperature in my body has definitely increased, I don't know about the rest of you. On your next inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. As you exhale, swan dive forward. So keep a long spine. Your full exhale brings you all the way down. Inhale, look forward, Ardha Uttanasana. As you exhale, plant your hands, step back to plank, and lower slow Chaturanga. Inhale, lift your heart for Cobra or Upward Facing Dog, where nothing touches the floor but the tops of your feet and your hands. That's the difference between up dog and cobra. So when you exhale into down dog, you can add in the chaturanga if you want it, or just skip it and go right to downward facing dog. Two more breaths right here. At the bottom of your next exhale, look forward, walk or float your feet to the top of your mat. When you get there, inhale, look forward, Ardha Uttanasana, long spine, exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up to stand, reach up, look up. Exhale, hands to your heart. One more time for Sun Salutation A. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, long spine forward, fold over your thighs, full exhale, let it all go. Inhale, look forward, Ardha Uttanasana. As you exhale, plant your hands, step back to plank, pause, and slowly lower Chaturanga. Inhale, burst your heart open for cobra or upward facing dog. Add in the push up if you want it, or just make your way into downward facing dog. Stay here, three breaths. So, if you haven't already, you're going to start engaging your Ujjayi Pranayama breath. That translates to victorious breath. That noisy, ocean sounding breath. It's like fogging a mirror with your lips staying closed. One more breath right here. At the end of your next exhale, walk or float your feet to the top of your mat. Inhale, look forward, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, rise to standing, reach your arms up overhead. Your right hand is gonna grab your left wrist and you're gonna give it a pull to the side. So find a nice side body stretch here. So I want you to find the outer edge of your left foot, ground into that. And then see if you can straighten your left arm with your right hand. And roll the shoulder open. On your next inhale, come to center. Switch the grip. Take it the other way. So now you're pressing into the outer edge of your right foot. You're straightening your right arm with that left hand. You're rolling your right shoulder open. It should feel so good. One more breath. Inhale. Both arms are going to reach up. Look up. We're going to cactus your arms. Find the back bend. Open your heart as you gaze up. Do that again. Inhale, reach up. One more time. Open the heart. Maybe a lot of breath. 
Inhale, reach up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, look forward. As you exhale, plant your hands, step back to plank, and lower slow through your vinyasa. We're going to meet in downward facing dog. Your inhale is your up dog or cobra. Your exhale will meet in downward facing dog. Two more breaths. I want you to step your right foot forward at the top of your mat. So I want you to use your core strength to step the foot forward. So you're in a runner's lunge on the right side. You're going to plant your left hand down. You can have your left hand flat. You can be up on your fingertips or up on your um, block. And you're going to take your right arm up. So when I say block, it can be your block or your paper towels. It's just easier for me to say blocks. So, but either is fine. One more breath right here. Get that nice spinal twist. Really lift that left leg. Engage the quadricep. As you exhale, reach your arm over your ear. Utita, that's extended. Rotate your pinky so it's down to the floor. And then gaze forward. Look at that pinky. One more breath. Right hand down. So your hands are on the floor. I want you to push into the hands. Lift the foot. Try to minimize the swoosh of that foot back. So lift the foot, send the leg back. You're in a three-legged plank, maybe. If that's too much, release your foot. Otherwise, keep it lifted and slowly lower chaturanga. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath. At the bottom of your exhale, your left foot steps forward, you're in a lunge. If your foot doesn't get where you want it, it's back here. Grab it and move it so your knee's over your ankle. Plant your right hand down. Send your left arm up so it's reaching up to the sky. And then take your arm over your ear. Revolve the hand so the pinky side is down. And gaze forward at that palm. Your left knee is hugging in. One more breath. Release your left hand down. You're pressing into both palms. Lift your left foot without swooshing. Send it back, three-legged plank, and slowly lower through your vinyasa. If keeping that leg lifted doesn't work for you, then keep it on the floor. Honor your body. One more breath here. Exhale, let something go. And then walk your hands back to meet your feet. You're at the back of your mat, just fold forward over your thighs. I'm going to have you bend your knees and slowly roll up to standing from the back of your mat. Okay, we're gonna have a little fun. Some of you have done this with me before. You're gonna grab your yoga mat, fold it in half. So you have space behind you, and you're gonna grab your yoga blanket, your beach blanket, your shower towel, whatever you have, and you're gonna stand on your towel right behind your yoga mat, which is now folded in half. So that you're on your, both feet are on your towel. From here, you're going to inhale, reach up. As you exhale, fold forward. Your hands are going to come down on your folded mat. Inhale, look forward. Keep your hands on your mat. You're going to slide your feet back to plank. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, you're going to slide your knees forward. Inhale, send it back. Exhale, slide it forward. Two more times, just like that. Like you're washed on the floors. Inhale, send it back. Now bring your knees to your left tricep. Inhale, send it back. Bring it to your right tricep. Inhale, send it back. Exhale to the left. You've got the gift here. Now, if you're doing this yoga practice on carpet, this isn't going to work. So you can just hold like a forearm plank or something else. Or you can hit forward and skip this whole part and be so happy that you're not doing this. Super fun. One more time on each side. As we exhale to the left, one more on the right. We're going to meet in plank. Slowly lower chaturanga. Inhale, lift your heart for cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, tuck those toes, spine down dog. Your feet are on your blanket. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, look forward, slide your feet. Oh. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to standing, reach up, look up. Exhale, hands to your heart. You guys want to do that again? I think, Christian.
Gianna right now saying, I'd love to. Can you please do it one more time? Yes, I will. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hinge and fold forward. Hands are on your mat. Inhale, look forward. As you exhale, slide your feet back. Exhale, draw it in. Inhale, send it back. We won't do as many this time. Inhale, send it back. Exhale to the left. Inhale, send it back. Exhale to the right. Inhale, send it back. Exhale to the left. Inhale, send it back. One more. Exhale to the right. Inhale, send it back and hold. Hold, hold, hold. Slowly lower chaturanga. Inhale, lift your heart. Cobra out, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog and hold. Take a big inhale through your nose. Let something go. Say ah, sigh it out. Ah. Inhale, look forward. As you exhale, drag your feet. Slide them forward. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to stand. Reach your arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands to your heart. Bring your hands to your sides. Close your eyes. You're in mountain pose. We call this Tadasana. Pretty much the base of every yoga pose we do comes from this pose right here. Are you feeling more warmth in your belly? One more breath right here. So don't be upset that we're going to put this blanket away. We're not going to use it again. So you can move that blanket off to the side. You can take your mat and roll it back out. And come to downward facing dog. Find your down dog. Take a big inhale through your nose. Open side, let it go. On your next inhale, reach your right leg straight back behind you. So when you're looking back at your right foot, you should see your pinky toe rolling down. So if you're turning your foot open, turn it so all five toes are down toward the floor and then reach back for your heel. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, bring your right knee to your right tricep. Yes, we're back in plank. Your right knee is up by the tricep. I want you to lower the right knee toward your right wrist. And then I want you to cross it to your left wrist. And then as you inhale, lift the knee up toward your left tricep. Good, bring that right knee to your right tricep. Exhale to your right wrist, across to the left wrist. Inhale to the left tricep. Bring the knee to your nose, look forward. Where do you want your foot to land? Look at that space and then plant your foot. Now look at your foot. Did it get where you wanted it to? And if not, go ahead and move it. So I want you to be in a long lunge. You might need to slide your left foot back. I'm sliding my back quite a bit right here. From there, spread the toes of your right foot. Hover your fingers. Reach through the crown of your head. So long line of energy from the crown of your head, down your neck, your spine, your hips, all the way down your left leg to your left heel. Now reach forward. Hold it here. One more breath. On your next inhale, like you're holding the paper towel, rise all the way up. Allow your shoulders to slide down your back. Reach back for your left heel. And just breathe here in your crescent pose. Take an inhale. As you exhale, I want you to take your right arm back, left arm forward. You're in a twist. Now, if you can look at the camera or at the screen for a moment, I'm not leaning forward. Instead, I'm reaching back through that right hand. Imagine I'm back there, you're trying to touch me with your right hand. Gaze back if you can challenge your balance. If you fall, who cares? Nobody's seeing you but you. And even if I was seeing you, who cares, right? This is a yoga pose. Now look forward at your left hand. Your right hand's gonna come to your left thigh, exalted warrior. You're gonna reach your left arm up and then back. Now, can you modify? Yes, you can drop your knee right here. I get a much deeper hip stretch when I drop my knee. So you might try that and see if you like that better. Take one more big inhale. As you exhale, whether your knee is up or down, doesn't matter. Your left hand is going to come down to the mat. Your right arm is going to come up for a twist. So where we're going to go next is to Vashistasana or side plank. So if you liked the modified version with the shin down, you're going to keep your knee down and send your right leg back. Or you can keep the knee lifted, spin to the outer edge of your left foot, and step your right foot back. Now notice, I'm not allowing my hips to drop. 
Instead, I'm lifting the hips, this right hip, lift it up toward the sky. Two more breaths right here. We're gonna change this up later, so just feel this Vashisthasana. Like I'm pulling you up from your right hand. One more breath. Slowly, right hand down, then flip over to plank. Take your vinyasa. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Take a few breaths here. If you need a child's pose, take a child's pose. I'm gonna give you two more resting breaths here. And then on your next inhale, send your left leg up behind you. Reach it up and back. Take a look, see at your left toes. Make sure they're all down to the floor. You can even flex your toes to really activate the muscles. Take one more big inhale. As you exhale, left knee to your left tricep. You're in plank. And then lower the left knee to your left wrist. Cross it over to your right wrist. Inhale, lift the knee up to the right tricep. Bring it across to the left, down to the left wrist, across to the right wrist. Lift it up to the right tricep. Bring it to your nose and hold. Press, press, press into both hands. Round your upper spine. Bring the knee towards your nose. Look forward. Plant that foot. Check your foot. See if it got where you wanted. Find your lunge. You might need to slide your right foot back. So you know where we're going, but we're not rushing there. We're going to go slow and use your core. Hover your fingers. Stay right here. On your next inhale, reach forward. Arms by your ears. Create this nice long line of energy from the fingertips down your spine to your right heel. Then slowly rise up, crescent pose. Hips drop, lower ribs hug in. Arms reach up, shoulders relax down the back. You're reaching back for your right heel. You're breathing, you're feeling. You're seeing your intention right here. One more breath. As you exhale, left arm back, right arm forward. Look back towards your left arm if you want. What are you afraid of? Right? So if you fall, your knee comes down. Big deal. Or maybe you want to drop your knee anyways. Now look forward at your right hand. Your knee can be down or lifted. Your left hand comes to your right thigh. Your right arm reaches up and then back. So your hips come forward. You should feel a nice side body stretch in your right side. One more big inhale. Look forward. Right hand down. Take a twist. So you can choose here. Do I want my right knee up or down? Doesn't matter. Focus on the twist. One more breath. We're going to make our way to Vashisthasana. So you can either step your left foot back, find your Vashisthasana, or if you're modifying, you're dropping your right knee and taking your Vashisthasana here. Regardless what you are taking with your legs, think about this left hip lifting. So if you've got two legs back, don't let the right hips fall. Lift, lift, lift. Press into your right hand. Imagine someone's pulling you up on your left hand. One more breath. Slowly, left hand down, come to the toes, take an inhale, and lower through your vinyasa. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Take some deep breaths here again if you want a child's pose, if you want a little water asana, I call that, or towel asana, you can take that right now. Two more breaths. And the beauty of a video is you can push pause whenever you want. You can skip stuff you don't like that I'm doing. I'll never know, and it's okay. Honor your body. Take an inhale together. Open your mouth. Let something go. We have a lot going on right now. So use your yoga practice to calm your body, calm your mind. And then get strong with your breath, with your core. So if you're in child's pose, please make your way to downward facing dog. On your next inhale, reach your leg up. We're gonna drive your right knee to your right tricep. We've been here before. You're gonna lower the right knee to the right wrist. Bring it across to the left wrist. Lift it up. Hold it here. This time I want you to spin your left foot flat. I'll show you from this way. And send your right leg through. And you're gonna reach your left arm up. Falling star, twisted triangle, this is sometimes called. If you wanna work your core more, Reach your right foot toward the screen. Press into your right hand. Keep your legs lifted. Your hip, left hip lifted. Reach up to your left arm. One more breath. So we're going to bring your left hand down and bring your right knee to your nose and plant your foot at the top of your mat. 
So take your time setting up for your runner's lunge. Right knee over your ankle, left foot is way, way back. Cover your fingers. We're still going slow here. I know you know where we're going, but I want you, I'm being purposeful about this. I want you to use your core and your leg strength. Slowly rise up. Settle in, allow your hips to mount. Take your twist, right arm back, left arm forward. Exalted warrior, right hand to the back thigh. You can drop your left knee. Inhale, reach back a little bit more. As you exhale, left hand down, right arm up. Take a twist. One more inhale here, and then Vashisthasana. Press into your left hand. Spin your left foot flat, and find your Vashisthasana. Okay, so you can modify again with your knee down. If you're modifying where we're going, you're gonna do this, okay? If you're not modifying, you're gonna lift your right foot off your left, Take an inhale, as you exhale, bring the right elbow to your right knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bring it together. Two more, just like that. One more. Inhale, reach back. Your right hand comes down. See if you can keep your right leg lifted as you lower through your vinyasa. Hold it here, downward facing dog. One more breath. Inhale your right leg up behind you. Bring that foot through, plant your foot. Inhale, rise up, crescent pose. As you exhale, you're gonna open into warrior two. So you're spinning your left foot flat. You're extending through your arms. You're sinking into your right knee. So ideally, you're creating a nice 90 degree angle in this right knee. You're reaching through all 10 fingers. Your shoulders are soft and you're gazing over your right hand. Inhale, reverse, reach up and back. Send your knee forward. So I want you to take your left arm, reach it towards your right knee. So your right arm is reaching over your ear. Your left arm is reaching to, toward the front of your yoga mat. Take one more inhale, then as you exhale, just change your arms. Now your right arm back, your left arm over your ear. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle pose. Inhale, reverse if this bothers your back. Please take what you normally would, maybe right forearm to your thigh. We're gonna hold here, side angle pose. So if you're with me, your arm, your right arm's reaching back, your left arm over your ear, if this bothers your back, your right arm is supporting you on your forearm, your forearm on your thigh. One more breath. Find your warrior two, stay there. Breathe. Inhale, straighten your leg. Reverse your triangle, reach up and back. Come on forward. We're gonna reach, reach, reach. Right hand down, left arm up. Please establish your triangle first. So maybe you want to shorten your stance. Bump your left foot up a little bit, toe heel forward. Your shoulders are aligned, your hips are aligned, you're gazing up at your left arm. So if you want to work your core here, reach your right arm forward to the front of your mat or toward me, reach toward the screen. Maybe both arms reach over your ear. Two more breaths right here. We're going to come back on up, sink into your knee. Or your two. Good. We're going to windmill your hands down to the floor. Step your left foot forward to meet your right. You're at the top of your mat. From here, inhale, look forward. Exhale, and just fold over your thighs. Let that go. Do that again. Inhale, look forward, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, and fold. Bend your knees. We're going to come into chair pose. Sweep your arms up to the sky. So you're sitting down. I want you to lift all 10 toes off the mat so you shift the weight back into your heels and then tuck your toe on it. So exaggerate, sink your butt back toward the back of your mat and now scoop the tailbone under. That's where you want to be. Feel that low engagement in your belly. Stay here and breathe. So we're going to press down in your right foot and lift your left knee up. And find warrior three. Slowly. Send your left foot back, hands at your heart, maybe hands on your blocks. Come back, slowly press into your right foot, go with control, lift the left knee. Do that again, inhale, send the leg back. Exhale, 
come back up. This time we're going to stay here. So if you drop your foot, come back. If you can, reach your arms up. If you can, send your left leg forward. Flex your toes. Inhale, breathe. Give it a lift as you exhale, and then release your foot. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, sit down. Hands at your heart. We're going to take a prayer twist, hooking that left elbow to the outside of the knee. So look down at your knees. You want your knees in line with each other. So if you're noticing, look at like right now, I have my left knee forward. Draw the left hip back. Keep your knees in line with each other. So I want you to either stay here. You can also open your arms, or you can take side pro, where your hands come to the outside. They're even. Look at your hands. They're in line with each other. And then, I should show you from the side. You tip. You bend your elbows. You tip. And your triceps become a shelf. Your right knee on your left tricep, your right hip on your left tricep, or your right tricep. More advanced, you'd have your arms separated, and you'd only have your right knee on the right, or the left tricep. So if you're staying right where you are, you should be feeling this quite a bit. So we're going to take one more breath together. If you're in your side crow, come back to center, and let's straighten the legs and just fold, let that go. Shake your head out, yes and no. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to standing. Reach your arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to your heart. Arms at your sides. We're back in our foundational pose, Tadasana. Maybe separate your feet a little bit. On your next inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Exhale, hinge and fold forward. We're going to go through that same thing on the, on the left side. Inhale, look forward. You can take a vinyasa or just step back to downward facing dog. You choose what you want to do. And when you get to down dog, I want you to take three or four breaths there, either in downward facing dog or child's pose, big toes together, knees apart. You choose what feels good for you. Two more breaths right here. On your next inhale, spread your fingers and send your left leg up to the sky. Look back at your left toes, make sure they're all down toward the floor. As you exhale, bring your left knee to your left tricep so that knee is lifted. Lower to the left wrist. Come across to the right wrist. Send that knee lifted up. Now spin your right foot flat and either send your left leg through toward me so you're floating it or let your foot come down and take it that way on star. So you're pressing a lot into your left hand. Take one more breath, then right hand down, bring the left knee to your nose, plant your foot. And look, did I set up my pressing or did I not? And make adjustments. Your left knee is over your ankle, hover your fingers. Can you drop your right knee right now? You bet you can. Listen to your body. Reach your arms over your ears, reaching at a diagonal. Reach back through your right heel and inhale, rise up, crescent pose. Draw your ribs in, let your shoulders slide down your back. Take a twist, left arm back, right arm forward. Look back towards your left arm. Now look forward, left hand to the back thigh, inhale, reach up and back. One more big breath. Right hand down, left arm up, take a twist. So we're going to come into Vashisthasana. So choose your pleasure here. You can drop your right knee or send your left leg back. Your hips are lifted. You're going to reach your left foot off your right. You're going to reach your left arm over your ear. Inhale. Exhale. Bring the knee and the elbow together. Inhale. Reach. Exhale. Knee and elbow. Two more. One more time. Inhale. Get long. Keep floating your left, left leg. Bring your left hand down, your back in plank. Maybe a three-legged plank as you lower Chaturanga. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hold it here. We're going to step your left foot forward. Use your core. Step that foot forward. We're going to rise up. Crescent pose. Take a big inhale right here. And then we're going to open into warrior two. 
So check your feet. Your left toes are straight forward, and this left heel is in line with your right arch. And then reach your arms. Relax your shoulders. Sink into your left knee. Press on the outer edge of your right foot and breathe. And feel. You should feel a lot in this pose. There's a lot going on. Hug the muscles in your arms towards your bones. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Reach up and back. And then reach your right arm towards your left knee, left arm over your ear. Take an inhale. As you exhale, switch it up. Left arm to the back, right arm over your ear. Inhale, reverse. Just move with your breath pattern. Exhale, side angle pose. We're going to do that one more time. Meeting in side angle pose. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle pose. Breathe. If this doesn't feel good on your back, your left forearm is on your thigh. Two more breaths. We're going to meet back in warrior two. Come on back up. And then straighten your leg. Ah. We're going to take triangles. So if you know you want to shorten your stance, go ahead and do that. Inhale, reverse, reach up and back. And then find tree konasana, my favorite pose, left hand down, right arm up. So first I want you to find your triangle. Your hips are stacked, your shoulders are aligned as well. And then if you want to add the core, you can reach your left arm forward, or you can reach it toward the screen, or whichever way you're turning. Or both arms can be over your ear. You can ignore all these options. One more breath. We're going to come all the way back to warrior two. Settle in. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, bring your hands down. We're going to step back and take a vinyasa. Pause here. And at the end of your exhale, walk or hop your feet to the top of your mat. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees a lot. Sit back in your heels. Utkatasana. So tuck the tailbone down. Stay here and breathe. Take a big inhale here. As you exhale, bring your hands together at your heart. Inhale, lift your sternum. We're going to take that twist. I'm going to turn toward you guys. So that right elbow to the outside of the knee. So look at your knees. Is your right knee coming in front? Mine is, so I need to draw my right hip back. Toes in line, knees in line, hips in line. Your hips, you want them to be square like a warrior one. So you can choose here. Hands stay at the heart. Open your arms. If you're taking that side crow, your hands, again, are in line with each other. You bend your elbows. You start to tip. Your left knee is on your right tricep. Your left hip is on your left tricep. And you lift the feet. If you've never tried it, try it. It's kind of fun. It's not as difficult as it looks. And if you fall, it's not as scary because you're pretty low to the ground, not like a handstand. So take two more breaths wherever you are. This time we're going to come back to center and straighten your legs and just fold. Let that go. Maybe shake your legs out. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to standing, reach up, look up. I want you to keep your right foot down this time and lift your left knee. And just pause here. So we're going to move into warrior three. So bend your right knee, engage your core, and find your warrior three. Maybe your arms reach forward. More advanced would be reaching forward or reaching back. You can always have your hands at your heart or hands on your blocks. Come back to standing. Press into the right foot, ground down. Lift your left knee. We're going to do that again. Engage your left foot. Reach back. Reach, reach, reach. And then come back up. Lift your knee. Can you reach your arms up? Can you engage your core right here and send your left leg forward? Take one more inhale. Lift your leg a little bit higher. Lift. And then as you exhale, release it. Hands at your heart. Maybe feet a little bit wider. Close your eyes and just feel. On your next inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. Exhale, hinge and fold forward. You can forget everything we just did. We're not doing it again. Take your peace fingers. You're going to wrap your big toes. If your hamstrings are super tight and your fold looks more like this and you're hunched over, all you have to do is bend your knees and suddenly your hands can reach your toes. So your knees can be bent. Wrap your big toes. 
We're all gonna inhale, look forward. As you exhale, bring your body to your thighs and work towards straightening your legs. Nobody says your legs have to be straight in this pose. You can have your knees bent the whole time, but your sitting bones, those bones in your tush, they're lengthening up. That's what's giving you your nice hamstring opener. And you're bringing your toes, torso closer to your thighs and you're releasing tension in your neck. Let gravity just steal it away from you and not give it back. Let it go. Shake your head out, yes and no. Deep breaths here, deep, deep breaths. Maybe some letting go exhales, make them noisy. If you're afraid to be noisy in a yoga studio, you're at home. Be as noisy as you want. You'll notice how good it feels. And when we're past this COVID pandemic and we're back in our yoga classes together, you might have that comfort of being noisy because you'll know it feels really good. One more breath. So nice. Okay, from here, you're gonna look forward. We're gonna plant the hands, step back to plank. Yep, we're back to plank. And we're gonna lower this time to our forearms. So come on down to your forearms. So forearm plank is always great if you have wrist issues. Being on your forearms takes the pressure off your wrists. So we're gonna hold it here. Or you can come with me and we're gonna take Vashtisthasana on the right side. So your right arm is down. Your left hand, I want you to, on this left hip, guide it up, lift it. Maybe you come from underneath and lift. Take the left hand behind you. Now you can hold it here or bring the left elbow down as you exhale. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift back up. Two more. We're only doing fours today. We're going to come back to a forearm plank. Pause. And then we're going to roll onto your left side for forearm Vashisthasana, side plank. Right hand behind your head. Lift your hips. Inhale, lift. Exhale, right elbow down. Inhale, lift up, exhale, lower, inhale, lift, exhale, lower, one more time, inhale, lift, exhale, lower, inhale, lift, come back to your forearm plank, yes, we're here, a couple more breaths, but you know what, I always do a nice sweet reward after, so wait for it, just keep breathing, allow your body to get a little quivery here, get your body getting stronger, lift your belly button, Press into the forearms, reach back through your heels, engage your quadriceps, smile. You're stronger than you think. One more breath, and then just allow your hips to come down, untuck your toes, and find Sphinx Pose. So Sphinx Pose isn't just hanging out here, it's energetically drawing your elbows back. And as you do that, your heart lifts, you get a nice stretch in your abdominal wall. Look over your left shoulder, bend your right knee, and switch that up. Bend your left knee, look over your right shoulder. That felt good, let's do it again. Look over the left shoulder, bend your right knee. And switch that up. Come back to center. Take a little forearm pillow, let your left ear come to the mat. And just breathe. Okay, so we're gonna take some back extensor poses here. We're gonna take your hands behind you, tops of your hands, are on the floor, so your palms are up. Chin is on the mat. Bring your legs together. I want your feet to stay on the floor, on your mat, and your tops of your hands press into the floor. Just lift your chest. Let's start here. Pressing into the floor and the tops of your feet, find length in your spine. Maybe lift your feet off the floor. I say maybe because if this bothers your back, you want to keep your feet down. Two more breaths right here. As you exhale, release your feet, right ear to the mat, and just take a couple of breaths. Come on back to center. This time, I'm gonna have you lift your feet and lift your arms. Now, now the palms of your hands are down to the floor. Inhale, lift. You'll probably be able to lift your chest higher here. And reach your arms forward like Superman or Superwoman. Inhale, lift both sets of your limbs, your arms, your feet. Reach our arms back again like wings and lace your fingers behind your back. Lift the lace fingers. If you can't lace your fingers, just reach back. You don't have to lace your fingers. One more breath right here. 
and let that go left ear to the mat. This time I want you to bend your knees and rock from side to side with your legs like windshield wipers, swooshing from side to side. And then please come into child's pose, finally, right? Press into your hands. Knees are apart, so knees are wide, big toes are touching. You sit your hips back towards your heels. Your knees being apart makes space for your torso to just melt down. Allow your forehead to come to the floor. Take a couple of deep breaths here. Crawl your hands off to the left side of your mat. Maybe they're on the floor, your fingers. And then draw your right hip back toward your right heel and get a nice side body stretch in the right side. And then walk your hands over to the right side. Draw your left hip back and breathe. Come on back to center. You're going to walk your hands back towards your knees. Bring your knees together and bring your hips to either side. I want to swing your legs around in front of you. So if you have a strap or a towel, you might want it. You might not, but it's a good idea to have it handy. So let's start with Janu Shirshasana. So we're going to take your left foot a little bit to the side and your right foot in like a tree pose. From here, take your thigh, roll it in, move some fleshy parts out of the way of that left thigh, flex your toes so your muscles are engaged. Inhale, reach up, twist a little, and then reach and fold. So you're reaching toward your foot. So if you, if you can tell with your own body, if you're rounding a lot here, grab your strap or your dish towel, place it around your foot, wrap the strap or towel around your hand, and then pull your heart forward. See, your spine is long. You don't want to be rounding. One more breaths here. This should feel good. And then slowly come on up. Let that strap go. And let's just switch sides. Let's keep it easy here. Grab your right thigh, roll it in. Flex your toes. Inhale, reach up. Twist a little. And then reach and fold over that extended leg. more breaths with or without a strap whatever you can do to find a long spine is where you want to go and then slowly come on up all right we're going to bring your knees together and we're going to lower onto your backs so we're going to take a hip opener on our back so more advanced in your hips you've got pretty open hips we're going to take a supine pigeon which means you have that same leg shape that you would as a pigeon where you have your left hand in your right foot. Does that make sense? Right foot in your left hand. Okay, so you're creating that pigeon shape in your legs, and then your right hand to be on your knee, and you're gently bringing the leg toward your chest. Okay, start there. If that is not right for you, you're lifting your left foot, creating a figure four, right ankles on your left knee, and you're lacing your fingers behind your left knee and getting your hip opener that way. But if you're taking the hip opener this way, your right foot is flexed, your right knee is pressing away from you. If you're in the supine pigeon and you have more space, maybe this right foot comes into your left elbow crease, your right knee goes in, I'm sorry, yeah, right knee in your right elbow crease, and you lace your fingers. Like a baby cradle, your right foot is flexed and you can still move around gently from side to side like you're rocking a baby, and you'll get a nice hip opener there. So you're either here, or in the first variation with the foot, the right foot in your left hand, or you're in the figure four. Slow deep breaths here. Breathe into your hips. And then carefully release that. You're going to switch sides when you're ready. So now your right hip might be entirely different than your left. So first bring your left knee into your chest and take your right hand to your left foot and left hand on your knee and extend the leg. So you're just creating that shape of a pigeon on your back, okay? This takes all the pressure off your knees. This is a great option, especially if you have knee issues like I do. Now, again, if you want figure four, your left ankle's on your right knee, you lace your fingers behind your right knee 
and drive your shin toward your chest. Your left knee is pressing away, your left foot is flexed, your right foot is flexed too. Okay, if you're in the supine pigeon and you want to go deeper, you're going to bring the left foot into your right elbow crease, left foot to the right elbow crease, and the left knee in your left elbow crease, and then lace your fingers. I feel like we're playing Twister. <sighs> Hold it here, a couple deep breaths, anywhere you like. If you don't like either of these options and you really want a pigeon, then just take pigeon. Doesn't matter to me. Couple deep breaths, use your breath to let go in this pose. We store so much stuff in our hips, so just allow it to go. One more breath. And then slowly release that, extend the leg out. So we're gonna come into shoulder stand. So I don't like to teach a traditional shoulder stand too much room for injury for my liking. So I'm gonna invite you to take your own inversion of your choice. So if you're with me and you don't have a block, a safe variation is just legs straight up. So you're creating this L shape in your body, ankles over knees, knees over hips, and you can stay here. There's one option. Option two, you got a block, place it the low height or the middle height under your hips, and you take your legs up. If you wanna take a headstand, a handstand, Whatever you want, a full shoulder stand.